another blow to the heart of Beechdale community. Just weeks after crowds of youngsters gathered outside its doors in a bid to save the youth centre, new threats to its library service are just around the corner. It serves the whole of Beechdale, which is a deprived area, but it's also housed in this wonderful building which looks after the centre of Beechdale, really. I mean, it is a hub of Beechdale. And as you can see from the board behind me, the stuff that they do in the library is fantastic. They have talks, the... Um, Mother and toddlers come here and the library read to them. They have somebody coming dressing up, don't they, and dressing up clothes to talk, to, read to the children and that. They do so much work, it's wonderful. It's only open three days a week now. We can't see it go. In a matter of weeks, Beechdale Library has gone from welcoming its visitors every day to just three days per week and fear is now running high for the survival of the whole centre. I feel that um, as if everything that we do here is under threat uh, because without all the funding for the different activities it puts the aisle, uh, the aisle of this building um, under, under threat of closure. Um, realistically our organisation um, deals with people from very young to very old with all the activities that we do here and these cuts are really putting a pressure on us because without the funding that we get for the library and for the youth um, it means then that uh, we may not be able to sustain ourselves here. But it's not just Beechdale's library that is affected by the recent council cuts. In total, there are eight of the area services at risk of being axed, included Blakenall, South Walsall and Pleck. But for Tina, this gruelling battle has only just begun. I don't think any library should shut really because I think they're an important part of life. But I can understand they've got to be cut, but they need to look at other ways. We'll just keep the fight going, keep the meetings going with the um, friends of the library and just keep the campaign going. There is a petition going about which um, is quite popular and has gone around the whole estate and there is one everywhere or mass where you go, so I'm just hoping we can try and save the library. At a time when the region is facing a mountain of council cuts, the future of Beechdale's library hangs in the balance. This is Roshni Patel for the Midland in Beechdale.